Hello everyone, Chris here, and today I want to show you a pretty cool trick you can do with macros in Notepad++, and that's to repetitively delete information from a line in all following lines, or to add information to those lines. As always, if you want to support my tutorials, you can do so at patreon.com slash christutorials. So the example I'm going to be going with today is that I want to take this list of names and convert it into a format that would work in an XML file. So what we're going to be looking to do is ultimately to have it have this information item in these brackets and then slash item to denote a single XML item. So in order to get every line to look like this, I first need to remove these hashtags from the start of each of these names and then I need to add item and in brackets slash item to the beginning and ending of each name. To do this manually would take a little bit of time especially if we were working with a much larger list say 300 or 3000 names it would take all day. So how we can do this with macros is to go up to macro and hit start recording. Now what's going to happen now is every key input I put in is going to be recorded into a macro. So if I hit the delete key, let's say one, two, three times, then that means the macro has recorded that the command it's going to do as a macro is to hit the delete key three times. However, that would not be enough to actually move on to future lines. So what I'm going to do now is hit down on my keyboard, which means the macro is now delete three times and then move down to the next line. Now we can go up to macro again, hit stop recording, and we can hit run a macro multiple times. From here you get the option run until the end of the file. We will select that with the current recorded macro and hit run. Bam, instantly done. All 30 have had the hashtags and the blank space removed from the start of each line. Now in order to add information, it's very similar. We would go back up to macro, hit start recording. And now what we're going to do is type in the item information, including the brackets. So our recorded macro is going to be left bracket, item, right bracket. But we're kind of posed with a problem here because each line doesn't have the same number of characters in each name. Different names, different amount of characters. So how do we get to the end of the line without, say, hitting right 20 times? Because if we hit right 20 times, it's going to put us in the wrong position. We do that by hitting the end key on our keyboard. Now it seems when I was copying in the data that each line has an extra blank space at the end. Now in order to correct that I'll need to hit the delete key in the macro once as we move down just like in the delete version of the macro. So we have to go back to the start, hit start recording again, item, end key, and this time we're going to hit backspace to remove that blank space, then add in the slash item. And finally, the last key we're going to hit is right on the keyboard, which will take us to the next available space in this document, which is the very start of line three. Now we have a macro recorded, which is going to do that for each line we apply it to. So we can go to macro, stop recording, macro, run a macro multiple times, run until the end of the file, and bam, we have a list of names that have been put in the item structure. Now, it doesn't necessarily need to be an XML file. You're going to put this information in. Anytime you have a list where each line has something similar to it, such as the hashtags or exclamation marks at the end, anything you want to remove or anything you want to add to every single line, you can use this trick inside of Notepad++. I find it incredibly useful, and I hope you do too. So I've been Chris. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.